Hello everyone! We're very close to releasing a new update for SimSol, so I'm here to let you know what you can expect when updating to SimSol's latest build. For starters, we've added a brand new advanced payment request form. Some of you may have seen a preview of this during our webinars. On this new form, you'll notice that the reserve amounts are now hidden from plain view. To enter in these reserves, visit the new form wizard to apply these amounts, or just enter them into your coverages section. When you upload this form to your company, they will be able to see these reserves. Your insureds, however, will not. Speaking of forms, we've also added a new form verification method to help ensure your prelims, finals, and advanced payment request forms are accurately and completely filled out. This new feature will allow you to see when information is overlooked while completing your forms, and it will prevent you from mistakenly uploading incomplete forms to ClaimsWire or XML Export. If you're using ClaimsWire or XML Export feature, you may need to re-verify older advanced, prelims, and final report forms prior to uploading. This is how you'll do so. We've also added the ability to sign forms by touch or mouse. Simply click on the compatible fields and sign using your mouse. Or, if you're using a touch screen, you can use a stylus or your finger. Due to customer feedback during the 2017 storm season, the invoice and billing section has also gotten an improvement. You now have the ability to easily add credits to deduct from your totals of your estimates. Just open up your invoice and billing section, select the credits button, enter a description, and the amount that you would like to deduct. Select OK, and now the total will deduct from your invoice. Support was also added for the XLSX file types, so now you can import in Contents Excel spreadsheets using either XLS or XLSX. This is a significant improvement for those using Google Sheets to share contents inventories. Lastly, the XML export, for formerly known as EDS, is now available as a premium, system-wide option in SimSol. This means that if your company utilizes the XML export option from the print screen to send claim files to a claims management system other than SimSol's claims wire, you'll want to give our offices a call at the number provided on your screen. If you're not quite sure if you need this feature, please speak with your company. In addition to all mentioned, We've also improved some minor cosmetic and functional capabilities of SimSol. We hope these updates will make your estimating experience better. When this update is available, you'll be prompted with an update screen when launching SimSol, so be on the lookout. If you have any features that you'd like to see in future updates, or you would like assistance updating, contact us at support at simsol.com or visit our brand new support center at simsolsoftware.freshdesk.com. Here, you'll be able to create a ticket start a discussion, or browse helpful how-tos.